Today I'm going to go over how to change the shrouds on a permabil power chair. Uh, this is going to be for the newer style. This is not applied to the older style. That'll be a little different. Um, I'm using an M3. Uh, the M5 will also be about the same. And the F3 will have different shaped shrouds, but the concept will also be the same. So for this one I'm going to go from blue to orange. I'm going to start with these front two pieces. These are probably the easiest. These two just kind of pull out. If it's really stuck, you might have to pry it with a screwdriver, but these were not. It's literally just little plastic clamps that go into these little rubber holes. And then to put the new one on, you would just line these up and then just pop them in. Same thing with this one here. It's got some Velcro and it's got those two little holes that go here. So same thing with the orange one. I'm going to pop those two in. Then the Velcro should also hold it down. Next, I'm going to start on the wheel. Now, the easiest way to get these blue shrouds off is to kind of pull this whole assembly out. You just want to reach your fingers in and it fits snug in there and it should just pop out. And they're being secured by these blue tabs in the back. So I like to kind of push these tabs down or in a little bit and also pull from the other side. So it pops out, other tab there. I'm kind of working them from both sides. There we go, all three are out. Then in order to get the orange ones, you just line up the tabs on the back and they should just snap right in. There we go, there's our first one. Second one, then our last one's gonna go like this. All right, now that our new shrouds are in, you just kind of line this up, you spin it until it goes in, and then you snap it in. Now we're gonna do the rear fender, just like the front fender, you just kind of pull out, and then the new ones will just fit in. Keep in mind the front fender and then the rear fender are going to be different sizes, so if one isn't fitting back here, you might have the wrong one. They do look very similar. There we go, and it just pops in. So now we're on to the last part is the rear, um, the rear shrouds. So I'm going to start with this bottom piece, just like uh, over most of the chair, it just kind of pops out, just like that. And then the new shroud will just pop in. Unfortunately on this chair, whoever owned this chair previously, one of the little rubber stoppers is out, so it's not gonna go completely in. Uh, you might run into that when changing your chair, but it will still fit pretty well. So these four go in, this one goes in. Now it's just gonna kinda sit like that. Um, in order to change the top, you can do it while it's attached. I find it a little easier to remove this whole plate. So I'm gonna loosen these screws up front that are holding the shroud in. Then this top part just kind of slides out a little bit. You don't have to take it off all the way. I just don't want this to hit the fender. And then just like the rest of the chair, it just kind of pops out. Little rubber stoppers in there that it sits in. And then the new one's going to pop in. There we go. Attach the shroud again, put our screws back in. There it is. Yep, so we got our screws back in, and now we have an orange permabil. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.